For the Monte Carlo Masters coming up in a couple of days' time, we have some huge names that will be playing the event, but we also have some huge names that will not be playing in the event. Let's start with the players that are definitely not playing in the event, and then let's talk about the players that might be coming in with a couple of injuries. So not a long withdrawal list, but we do have some key names not playing, including Carlos Alcaraz, he's pulled out. Felix Ogier-Aliassim has also pulled out. Carino Busta. Rafa Nadal, of course, has pulled out. We haven't seen Rafa since the Australian Open, so again, we're gonna have to wait a few more weeks until we see Rafa. Nishioka's also pulled out. Denis Shapovalov has also pulled out of the event. Like I said, not a long withdrawal list, but a long lot of big names. Having a look at the players that are in doubt for the tournament or coming in with injury worries, Stefano Tsitsipas. He's had a shoulder problem for the last couple of months and he said that's why he didn't play so well at the Sunshine Double as well because of this shoulder injury. So the two-time defending champion, definitely some doubt going into the event. Jack Draper, another player who pulled out with injury last week in Miami and also had to withdraw from his match against Elkers in Indian Wells. So he's coming in as well with a little bit of doubt. Stan Vavrinka also pulled out of Miami or didn't play Miami after Indian Wells, but I'm assuming I mean, that's more just out of taking a rest. And Gael Monfils, he actually pulled out of Miami in his first round match. He is on the entry list for this event, but he also might not be playing the event after getting injured in Miami. So some big names there, some key names, especially Sidney Pass, the big one, coming into Monte Carlo with some doubt. So there you have it. That is the withdrawal list and the players that might have a little bit of injury cloud coming in or maybe a little bit of doubt whether or not they're actually going to be playing the whole event. I mean, hopefully City Pass plays. He's the two-time defending champion. He's played very well here, and he always starts the clay court season off very well in Monte Carlo. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most at Monte Carlo? Without those big names, Alcaraz Nadal especially, kind of makes the tournament look a little bit different. Of course, Djokovic is playing, so there is a big name coming back. But it is weird not to see two of the biggest clay court players on the, in the world there. So big names not playing in Monte Carlo to start the clay court season. Hopefully, we'll see them soon.